keep drilling that technique. We get more pin than any other move with the Kobe. All right, Kobe is our go-to. We get to a front headlock, we shoot our arm through, we get to that cement job. Now guys, a mat return that we love. I love this move, all right? Uh, you guys know who Luke Fletcher is, all right? He was ranked number one in the nation, beat Nick Lee at Big Tens, all right? Nick Lee had him at, in the duel, but then Fletcher beat him at Big Ten. Two weeks later, they had been each, uh, had each other at Nationals, but uh, Luke Fletcher from Ohio State, 141 pounder, ranked number one in the nation. He goes to this one all the time. You watch him wrestle, all right? He's a little bit shorter, stockier. Sometimes he'll lift. If he can't lift, he'll go to a cross scissor trip, all right? You guys, uh, the Ohio State and Penn State duel, um, it was when we had Kyle Snyder, uh, Bo, Miles, Colin, me, Joey, Nathan Tomasello, Luke Fletcher, right? We were stacked. Uh, Penn State was stacked too. We beat them at Big Ten, but they beat us uh, the two weeks later. But Penn State came to us and we dueled each other. I think Bo was hurt, so he didn't wrestle Mark Hall. So that kind of crushed us. But guys, I wrestled Rutherford. And uh, the first like 30 seconds, I take down Rutherford. He stood up. I got him with this mat return. Um, after that, I don't really know what happened, all right? Guess there might have to remind me, it was not good. But guys, I love this move, I hit it all the time. It's when I can't lift him, all right? I'm behind him here, my hands are locked, I can't lift him. Yes, there's blocking my hips. I go to step around, I can't lift. Number one, I either get around behind him, I hit him in a slide by. Here I hit him in a quick slide by, there's 10 seconds left in the match. I'm trying to lift him, I can't lift him. I gotta get him back to the mat. Or guys, there's short time. I'm on top, I'm winning by a point. Gessler's trying to get away. He stands up to his feet. I already have a stall call. I have to get him to the mat. If not, guys are gonna hit me for stalling. They're gonna give one point to Gessler. And then guys, I really have to hold him down. Because if he gets out, then we lose. So guys, I'm here. My hands are locked and he's blocking my knees and I can't lift him. If I can lift him, I'll go to the lift. I'll slam his hips to the mat. All right, and I'll break him down. This is when we can't lift him. We're gonna do a move, it's called a cross scissor trip. Uh, do you guys know what a tabletop is? All right, good old fashioned tabletop. Someone gets behind him, someone pushes him over. All right, go ahead, Gessler. They oh. go down. Good old tabletop. I don't want anyone hitting tabletops after this session, but a tabletop is the same thing with a cross scissor trip. The table is my leg. So I'm here, my hands are locked. I'm behind Gessler, I can't lift him. Right now, I'm facing towards Gessler. I jump up in the air. I do a 180. I land on my left knee, and my right leg shoots out. Here's the table. All right, it's across Gessler's legs. I pull him right over the top. Real simple, guys. I jump up. I'm not going here. All right, I don't want to go here. You can hit me in a switch. I jump up. I do a full 180 from here to here. I jump up from here to here. Notice, guys, my hips now are facing this direction, the opposite of Gessler's. Before I was facing towards them, now, guys, I'm facing the opposite direction. My hands are still locked. Real simple from here, my, my leg is blocking both of his feet. My hips are at that angle. I pull them right over the top. Once I pull them over the top, we hit, I blast into them. I try to get to a near wrist, and I break them down flat. Real simple technique. Hands are locked. I can't lift them. I have to get them to the mat. Now guys, if I already have the takedown, Gessler gets up. Once I go to it, here I go to my cross scissor trip, I pull them. I can't keep my hands locked. Have to unlock my hands and drive into it. All right, cross scissor trip, my leg shoots out and blocks his legs. A few things, number one, I am not doing this. When I jump up, I'm not trying to karate kick his leg. My leg does not hit Gessler's leg. If it does, rep, all right, he might give Gessler a point, illegal move. I'm not trying to hurt his knee. I'm not trying to kick. I know it's a cross scissor trip. I'm tripping him. I'm just pulling him right over the top. Here, hands are locked. I, my leg just shoots across and it blocks. Number two, guys, make sure you do the full 180, all right, or a full opposite direction change. From here, if I just do a 90, and I land this direction. I'm not stable. If I go to my hip, I have to unlock my hands. Gessler can hit me to switch. 
from here, guys, I'm going to pull them. I land on my hip. There, you can hit a switch off. And he gets the reversal. So, guys, make sure you do a full 180. I'm on my base. I pull right over the top. Then I pressure in. Here, cross scissor trip. My hands are locked. I jump. Take them right over the top. And drive into them. It's a really quick uh, mat return. If I can't lift them, I have to get them to the mat. Here, I can't lift. Can't lift. I pull them right over the top. Drive into them. And break them down. Any questions? You want to see it again? All right, one more time. Just start right here, guys. I'm not doing this. All right, if I have my, his arm trapped and I pull him, first thing that's going to hit his shoulder and his head. My hands are locked. No arms. Cross scissor trip. From here, I jump, land, pull him over the top. Let's try it. One, two.